Nicky Ferguson, Kelly Manell, um, not having a great run, or well, actually having a very good run as a new driver for this season, the rookie, just has not been able to get her foot onto the podium, has come forth a couple of times during the season, just not quite nailing it. Oh, it's Luke Manell doing the uh, navigational duties here today. Nikki Ferguson uh, from Lower Hutt is at the track, thought that she was uh, going to be navigating, but it's Kelly Manell and her son Luke Manell, so uh, Leighton's son as well, they call him Mini Me. Clayton and Mandy Tisdall now. Tisdall contracting, getting signed up. And, uh, these guys uh, have been having a pretty good season. They were going to give the sport away. We convinced to uh, stick it out and carry on. And uh, so they have uh, been just having a really good season, getting a nice verbal patch. And uh, quite quickly as well. So into this all track for the correct rotation. Clayton a little bit hesitant there. He's not too sure where he is at the moment. It's qualifying round at number one. We'll remind you of that because it can be very, very difficult. I think they're just now cutting laps. So we're all confused up here. Let's go. 
guys, they went through the loop that many times that it's reset the timing about 400 times. So uh, I don't know how they managed to get that track rotation correct after all of that. Did we get a rough time there, Reuben? Because that was sort of, uh, it's got to be about a four and a half minute lap, that one, doesn't it? Wow, 209 seconds or 1 minute 49. Surprised they didn't run out of fuel. Out of limits now, Craig Shaw and Gillian Good. DNF for Craig Shaw. They didn't re-correct the rotation. And uh, unfortunately for them, they will not be aware of that. They would have thought that they had that re-corrected, but that will be a DNF for Craig Shaw. Greg Reardon also went wrong way, recorrected himself. So, so far, uh, Kelly Manell went wrong way, Clayton Tisdall went wrong way, Craig Shaw's gone wrong way, and so has Greg Reardon at some point throughout their, uh, their initial run. And uh, we've got two DNFs out of the first five boats. So this is going to be quite interesting as the day wears on.
9-1-0. And I dare say a little bit of slip there on the impellers. You could hear the boat engine hitting its rev limiter. So Daniel Reed and Ben Sol, the first to actually complete the rotation the first time out without making a mistake. So, uh, well, they're one up on the rest of the field at the moment. Tim Edhouse in Liquid Addiction will be our next boat to face the starter with Blair Edhouse. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wanganui. And uh, just in our early qualifying rounds, we'll be ramping it up as the day goes on. So uh, just kick back, relax, and uh, do what you need to do. But uh, don't take your eyes off the track, because it's only a blade of grass between, well, winning and sticking it up on the dirt. So, uh, Tim Edhouse, uh, we'll get back to you with a time with that one. And uh, that he got that uh, track rotation pretty sweet. So now it's Patrick Hayden out on the at the moment. He's told Paddy Hayden that it's only qualifying round number one. Uh, I'll get back to you with the time in just a second, but uh, that was a cracking lap for an opener. And this will give us a bit of an idea, or a rough idea, of where we're going to see times come at the end of the day. So uh, Paddy and Jay Hayden just went out there and said, right, oh, this is roughly what you've got to do, and uh, posted a time of 58.699. So we're going to see, uh, I would suggest, some of these super boats down into the 48 second bracket and possibly lover throughout the course of the day. That rounds out qualifying round number one for the Group B category. Uh, get back to you with the time for Tim Edhouse. Uh, 
Tim Edhouse posted a 76 and some chains for both. So by far the quickest man on the track at the moment is Paddy Hayden. We are now going to our Group A races. And this will be Rice Racing. 